Diddy big time. Allegedly, Diddy has been in a weird gay relationship with T.D. Jakes for the longest time. And they Why do you think T.D. Jakes was at Puff Daddy's birthday party? Bishop Jakes was at a Diddy party. There could only be two reasons. Money or sex. <laughs> That's Both. all that happens at Diddy parties. Money and sex. Y'all also was... Mr. Mason Betha. T.D. Jakes was selling, T.D. Jakes was selling Puffy some ass. <laughs> Allegedly. Uh, T.D. Jakes. And the T.D. stands for taking dick. <laughs> if we open it up, it's gonna ooze, and if we open it up, it's gonna leak, and if we open it up, it's pause. <laughs> pause. <laughs> if we open it up, it's gonna ooze, and if we open it up, it's gonna leak, and if we open it up, it's gonna smell, and we open it up, it's gonna hurt. But if we don't open it up, if we don't open it up, it won't get better. What the hell he talking about? And y'all niggas are gay. TDJ, thank you for the donation. You want some booty puppet? Puffy, puffy is a man of Jesus. Cause he gives me money and he gives me some booty. He gets in that booty. Get your ass out of here, TDJ, man. And y'all sitting up in this congregation, y'all look like a bunch of suckers. Oh, sucker ass nigga, get your sucker ass out of here. Clapping, brother. Puffy is my man. Literally. <laughs> In order for the world to really come to the fullness of what it is, it takes man and woman living in the fullness of their identity. Come on, somebody. Tell your daddy that. <laughs> Tell your daddy that. Live in his identity. Because his identity, I heard some stuff. Him and Puffy and these other guys are getting it in. So it's alleged that him and Puffy has had intimate relations. Ugh. Hell, man. P Puffy, boy. Man. Mm -mm -mm. My gator has always went off with this man. I'm going to tell you, because Jesus is a man, is a this, and Jesus wants us to do this, and if you was a woman, you need to get you was a good man, and a good man. Get your ass out of here with that bug. Hey, man, try to tell women what to do when you want a man, too. <laughs> oh, fuck ass motherfucker. Broadcasting to you again live. It's, it's well, I'm not live. Broadcasting to you again is PA Texas with my co host Pissy. And we in here <clears throat> to speak on the, the false, the false, the fake preacher, the false prophet, Bishop T.D. Jakes. Fake ass. Yes, my gator always went off with this dude, man. He looked like a, he just look he's just a big, big old, big belly gay ass motherfucker. That's all he is. Ain't nothing wrong with being gay. Under full disclosure, ain't nothing wrong with being gay. But it's something wrong with being gay and saying that you ain't gay. Got a whole wife and you're getting booty. Your wife don't want you out here getting booty, Bishop. They say he's a power bottom. I don't even know what that is. 
<laughs> I just don't want to be it. Mm -mm. Nah, bro. Nah, buddy. Mm -mm. Nah, buddy. I'm good. Okay. So you think it's a game, huh? Oh, I'm not the only one who has this opinion. And if you, if enough of people, if enough people have the same opinion, that becomes fact. No matter if it's fact or not. Let's look at. Man, what's this cat name? I can't remember. Nobody's name. I'm getting C now. Pastor Geno Jennings, I think. That's his name. I think he's in Philadelphia, if I'm not mistaken. Man, this is one of the funniest cats. You know, I you know, I'm not a big fan of religion at all. But I'm a fan of this cat. So let's <laughs> man, look, look at his take on it. He agrees with me. Watch this. Let's hit play. You look just like the center. You act just like the center. That's right. And you think just like the center. That's right. That's right. That's why you find T.D. Jakes hanging out. Let me rewind it. Now, number one, I want to know who is this cat behind him saying that's right. How do you get that job? Is that the deacon? I'm not, I don't go to church much. <laughs> that's what I know who that is. That's right. I can do that. It sound like puppy. That's right. Yeah, I want to do that job. I want that job. God damn it. You got damn mother. Right. It's that punk ass mother. Probably what I'd do. I'd be out of there. Find TD Jakes hanging That's out right. with Puff Daddy. Yeah. Oh, hell no. <laughs> oh, hell no. If these niggas ain't gay, what is gay? These were, oh, look at this, look. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Oh, no, man. Man, Puff, something's wrong. I think Puff got just daddy issues, man. That's why he just want, you know, he want a man in his life. You know, uh, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. We got to do better. We need better. We need better role models. Puffy is not it. He never was my role model, but since people look up to Puffy, I've, I've I know people who look up to Puffy. Indeed, that can still look up to anybody. Happy <sighs> birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy birthday. And this gas singing. Man, I thought my belly was big. You got he got me. I thought my belly was big. Happy birthday. So it's alleged that him and Puffy has had Intimate relations. Ugh. Hell, man. P Puffy, boy. Man. Mm -mm -mm. My gator always, always went off with this man. I'm going to tell you, because Jesus is the man, is a this, and Jesus wants us to do this, and if you was a woman, you need to get you was a good man, and a good man, get your ass out of here with that bug. Hey, man. Try to tell women what to do when you want a man too. <laughs> oh, funk ass motherfucker. Anyway, back to that. Oh, hell no. <laughs> man. Ladies, you ever see a man doing that? Question his sexuality. Dancing to this song? Question his sexuality. 
Hey, big girl. Bag it up. Hey, big TD. Bag it up. Wobble, baby. Wobble, baby. Wobble, baby. Wobble. Wobble, baby. Wobble, baby. Wobble. Get in there. I done heard this song. Ain't nobody going to the dance floor except gay men and women. The real niggas, they gonna get a drink on this song. And I sit here and learn the words. Hey, big girl, bag it up. They got everybody up there, big girl, bagging it up. Hey, big girl, big TD, bag it up. And I heard he liked to bag it up. And Puffy was sitting there ready to insert. Yeah. Them, them cats is gay. Well, bisexual. I don't, when I say gay, I, I just mean they not straight. Look, he don't want no part of that. Look, 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 he backed off her. He don't want no part of that. You know what I'm saying? But he ready to hug that little that little security guard. He ready to hug her. Mm-hmm. You saw that. I mean, he, he ready to hug him. Excuse me. Well, he's acting like a hug. Okay, here we go. We got one of this. We got one of this cat's sermons now. What preacher? What what real preacher? This ain't nothing but fake preacher. What real preacher doing something like this? Talk about all these fake preachers, man. Look, man, you show me a preacher, I show you a crook. This man's a hypocrite, just like the rest of the preachers. Benny Hinn, all of cats, they hypocrites. They don't probably don't even believe in God. He believe in getting booted, or he be, or he just, or he just gay and want to pray his gay away. <laughs> Man, uh, watch what now. Now, what straight man does stuff like this? Oh, get it now. Some of that. I want some of that. You know how TDJ talk with that list. I want some of that. Jesus want me to get some of that. Church of God in Christ allowing Chris Tucker and others to do a comedy skit. That's right. <laughs> Somebody just gave me a beautiful gift backstage. Look at this chain. I just got it. Let me come down here and show y'all this chain. Now you don't be, don't get broke during Christmas time. I told you what to get people what they need. Don't get broke because you know, I know you got bills and stuff. If you got bills, don't worry about bill collectors. Tell bill collectors like I tell them. I say, look, people owe me too, okay? He's at the church. That's right. You tell. That's what you tell bill collectors. And Chris Tucker got up to at a church, man. Man, that just tells you about the church. It's an entertainment. It's a money hustle. T.D. Huck Jakes hustling ain't money, and they sometimes they don't mind. I could do a whole thing. I'm and I just might do that. I can do a whole video about fake preachers. Creflo Dollar, John Gray. What's that one that was running on the money? I forgot his name. Money. You put some up here. Woo! Man. Woo! Put some money. Put some anointing on this money. You put some up here. You put. <laughs> Woo! Prosper. Prosper, I said. Motherfucker, they're crazy. Man, T.D. Jakes, Benny Hinn, Joel Osteen. Let's not leave, you know, I ain't finna jump on the black preachers. Joel Osteen ain't sh isn't it. Man, uh-uh, bro. 
And I'm, I ain't got to even jump on Christianity. I could jump on the Scientology. All them cats over there are nuts. But somebody bought me this beautiful chain. I feel like a bishop up here. Don't I look like a bishop? It's a TV I feel tape. like a broke bishop because it ain't gold. It's not a gold chain. I love people are so sweet. Oh, rest in peace, Lister. I just gave me this out of nowhere. And it, and it don't it match what I got on? Don't want to be different. That's right. That's why the churches are flying rainbow flags? Yeah. They don't want to be different. No God is a God of no compromising. That's true. And if you compromise, you're just like the world. That's right. Okay, so Diddy and this fake ass preacher T.D. Jakes been pumping booty. Allegedly. Allegedly pumping booty. I don't know. I wasn't there. And I didn't want to be there. I don't never want to be there. But I heard they been pumping booty, allegedly, according to the alleged accusations by Mace, who's also a preacher. He probably a fake preacher, too. But anyway, let's get it. It's on. Allegedly, Diddy has been in a weird gay relationship with T.D. Jakes for the longest time. And Mace Why do you think T.D. Jakes was at Puff Daddy's birthday party? Bishop Jakes was at a Diddy party. There could only be two reasons. Money or sex. <laughs> That's all that happens at Diddy parties. Money and sex. Y'all also, was... Mr. Mason Betha. T.D. Jakes was selling, T.D. Jakes was selling Puffy some ass. <laughs> Allegedly. T.D. Jakes, thank you for the donation. You want some booty, Puffy? Puffy. Puffy is a man of Jesus because he gives me money and he gives me some booty. He gets in that booty. Get your ass out of here, T.D. Jakes, man. And y'all sitting up in this congregation, y'all look like a bunch of suckers. Oh, sucker-ass nigga, get your sucker-ass out of here. Clapping, brother. Puffy is my man. Literally. <laughs> Now coming out to expose Diddy's affair with T.D. Jakes. <laughs> Looks like Mace is done being silent about Diddy's true nature and he just exposed Diddy big. Mace just came out with some tea. But that's not all because Mace is also accusing Diddy of allegedly forcing all his bad boy records artists into freak offs with him and holding their careers over their heads. Mace has had a lot to say and this drama just got insane. How much money do you think I owe this guy? One album? And then he became a fake pastor and went and conned people. And then y'all gonna let him throw dirt on the... Man, just think about how evil this motherfucker is. Watch, just watch. She say y'all gonna let him throw dirt on... Let me rewind this a little bit, man. One album, and then he became a fake pastor and went and conned people. And then y'all gonna let him throw dirt on the God's name? So y'all come on in and hop in at Did you hear that shit? He said let y'all he said y'all gonna let him throw dirt on the God's name? Nigga, fuck yo man, man, bro. Man, nobody cares the God. You ain't no God. And what they gonna do? You all, all you doing is just some some con ass motherfucker to sitting there conning people, getting your money, and making people do your dirty work. That's all you. That's a con artist, man. Man, anyway, man, let me get back to this video. This one got me in my feelings. Now, look at what we have, you know. I don't know where it is, but this lady's name is Sarah Jakes Roberts. I don't want to poo-poo on anybody because I ain't got no beef with her. I ain't got no beef with her dad. I'm just calling her how I see it. Now, if I see some BS from her, I'm going to get on her too because that's just what I do as a someone who's trying to bring you know, real stuff to real people in this life, right? That's all I'm trying to do. Now, I don't know what this is. This is some symposium, and she brought some some guys on here, and I it's, I just it's, I just want to report on this because I knew this was gonna be some BS when I saw the how the guys dress. Let's 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 just get it started, man. Ladies, y'all do what y'all want. Y'all grown, but fellas, don't ever do nothing like this, man. Yeah, if you a real ass mother, you a real dude, man, you ain't got to be no gangster, but don't be no soft ass nigga for these. Don't be no bitch made ass dude, man. Don't be soft, don't be soft man. Because these ladies going to go run up. Oh, man, my microphone way over here. 
these ladies gonna run up on some other nigga, man. You, if you saw, only you know, you know, you you know, ladies only respect two things: love, lust, and fear. And if they lust you, they love you. So you got to get that coochie good and make sure that you know at any point if she get out of line and she want to do some stuff like this, you will leave her ass at the post office. And she going to have to find somebody else. Now, if she don't love you, she don't care. But if she do, she will care. Having such an incredible time as Shut women up, that we would like to hear from you all. What does this experience look like for you when a woman takes time? What's up, woman of all? Well, take a minute and just welcome the ladies into the men's panel because we have been having such an incredible time as women. Shut up, bitch. That we would like to hear from you all. What does this experience? That's a lie. You ain't have no. You ain't have no dangalings. You ain't have. You ain't have a good time at all. Women, when they go out over on these girls' trips, the number one thing they trying to do is get some dangaling, get some male attention. They want some attention and some dangaling. Look I like for it. you when a woman takes time out of her life, invests in herself so that she can become better. What does that do when you see a woman taking care of herself in this way? That means I mess with the wrong bro. You need to get rid of her. She got to go to all this women's therapy and all this. The only therapy she need is right in between my knees and legs and thighs, baby. That's the only therapy she needs. Yes. Other than that, she don't need no damn therapy. Shit. I got your medicine. Wow. I, can I just say this is incredible? Ladies, y'all already incredible, but coming together, this is amazing. I think coming from a single man perspective, Sarah, I'm excited. <laughs> Ain't nothing like a good God-fearing single woman. And look at what we have here. Five mark-ass nips. And I bet three of them gay. I bet I bet four of them take dang take dangalang, especially Bishop T. Take dangalang Jakes. They say he a power bottle. Man, let's listen to more of this bud, this BS. Volvin? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Wait up, Anthony. You ain't the only single man on the panel hey! now. <laughs> 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 oh, but to, to answer, bitch to answer your question, it's uh, it's it's phenomenal. Shut up, bitch. As men, and who talks like that? Uh, to answer your question, it's phenomenal. He might as well try to put on a British accent. To answer your question, it's phenomenal. Amazing, even. Yeah, it's a phenomenal. Get this, get this sneaky man. He got a pin on his. Man, get out of here to be invited here That's and to like. be witness to the evolution of women right before our eyes. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's powerful. So to answer your question, an evolved woman is a powerful woman, a woman to be respected and cared for. Shut up, bitch. And to be honored and cherished. Man, this is this the type of sucker that, this is the type of sucker ass nigga that get finessed. These women will be like, yeah, I'm an honorable woman. I'm mean, like, oh, I'm going to take care of you, baby. She'll take it. She's taking his money and giving it to Pookie. So he and take get picking up his car, picking up his Ferrari, and let picking up Pookie, getting in the passenger seat and suck his Pookie's dangalang on the highway in your Ferrari while she headed to talking shit about you, while she headed to some, to, a, to a realtor to buy a house for, for her Pookie. In your Ferrari, while she's giving him, while she giving him, while she giving him some service, See, man, that's the type of mother that is. Shut your ass up. Right, Devon. <laughs> okay. Um, I just want you all to know, just because they said they were single, does not mean that they need your business cards <laughs> or your advertisement. We're gonna keep it holy. This is your brother in the Lord. Oh, amen. Man, you be you be done got one of them. I make a mean pot of greens. 
Everything they say sounds gay as hell to me. I make a mean pot of greens. Show your ass out here, man. Y'all got a bunch of pussy suits on. Y'all got some pussy suits on. Y'all want some pussy? These girls, and half of them can't even get wet that good. They, half of them don't even like you. They want that ignorant ass pookie. They want me. <laughs> I ain't got a nickel. I ain't got a dime. I ain't giving them nothing but hard dick and bubble gum. You know what I'm saying? I, so when they get in the door, I be like, I don't want to hear this shit, bitch. Get your ass in the bed, get bug naked. I need to have you know you you came over, you ain't come over here to 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 talk. I ain't smart. I'm ignorant. Get over there and bust it wide open and tell it bring it back. I got wood in here. I'm gonna take a little bit of shower so you can do what you do, and I'm gonna do what I do. <laughs> Anyway, back to these niggas. I'm off my, 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 my. But I like greens, David. <laughs> <laughs> I am wondering, one of the reasons, and I'll be honest with y'all, we kind of went back and forth about whether or not we would have a men's panel because we do create such a sacred space for womanhood and vulnerability. But I felt it appropriate on the last day of us being together to really recognize the reality that this is not what our world looks like on a day to day. We are not, and thank God, we are not exclusively surrounded by women. In order for the world to really come to the fullness of what it is, it takes man and woman living in the fullness of their identity. Come on, somebody. Tell your daddy that shit. <laughs> Tell your daddy that. Live in his identity. Because his identity, I heard some stuff. Him and Puffy and these other guys are getting it in. Man and woman living in the fullness of their identity. And yet I recognize that a lot of times we experience breakthrough, we experience power in this room and it feels exciting, but then we go back home and we're wondering how do I translate this into a marriage that is used to the, a different version of who I am? Look, and look, look, lady, Think, thinking is not your thing. Thinking is not your thing. It's not. So, you know, ladies, just this is the thing. The best advice I can give ladies is don't think. Just keep reacting on your feelings like you do. Don't try to think your way through it because y'all are not built to do that. Just get with a man and fill him out. And if he mess you over, oh, well, this is just a casualty to the game. That's just a casualty. Y'all just not built to figure things out. If so, y'all be doing a whole lot better. But y'all just, y'all feel, yeah, oh, he's sexy, he nice. Or, oh, he makes me laugh or this, that. There you go, run with him. You know, he oh, he got the car, the jewelry, oh, he got the money, run with him. Jeffrey Epstein, get to, get with Jeffrey Epstein, man. You ain't got to do it for 20 years. To a ministry that is used to a different version of who I am or even into a business. And so, gentlemen, I want to know, how do you support a woman embracing the fullness of her identity? Shut up, bitch! Even if it means Ain't no woman got no fullness or no goddamn identity. Shut your ass up. Y'all y'all the y'all are the most attention getting this. Don't know what the hell you're doing this. Don't know what the hell you are. Don't know what you want as my us. I'm telling you, I ain't never met one that didn't figured shit out. The stuff that's coming out of her mouth, man. Somebody tell this bitch to shut the fuck up. <sighs> different than who you originally knew or understood. T.D. Jakes look like Java Hood. T.D. Jakes. I want somebody, I want to be a bob. I want somebody to do something to me. I want a man to give me some. This nigga here, man. This this is this is the motherfuckers y'all look up to. This nigga, this, these, these, these five motherfuckers look like they belong on a in a in in a gay boy band, they look like they finna have a gay porno. I don't know how I would know that, but you know what I'm saying. Pause, but it seems like that's what is gonna happen. And there's nothing wrong with gay pornos. Women don't like gay men as far as partners. They want one of these dudes, and these dudes are sitting there like, yeah, baby, yada yada yada, and then they pump and booty on the side, and then they woman get all heartbroken, start 
cutting their hair off and doing all kind of crazy stuff with their hair. They married or dated somebody uh, who weren't who they say they were. Fiction between who you are and what you do. Uh, the description that you gave about women going back into a world that maybe expects them to appear as a different version of themselves is the reality for all people. When we go at home, Tell we're expected to be, play different roles and be in different places. But you, you play the role without losing sight of your own identity. It's like being an, an actress in a film. You play the role that you, the script you've been given, the part you've been given, but you don't lose sight of who you are as an individual. That's not just a woman thing, that's a man thing as well. We need to be able to be whole within ourselves and still be able to be shared in different ways between spouses, between children, between work. We show up in different worlds in different ways, just like you do. And I think the challenge is authenticity uh, doesn't shit, mean yo, bitch ass up. Control. I've had enough of this mother. I've had enough of this motherfucker. He's sitting here acting like he's the oracle or something with his fancy. He sent his ass back there. We're looking for some more dangling to take on. And he, man, he, he, you know, sitting here preaching to all these people for all these decades, talking about a bunch of fake ass stuff. And, you know what I'm saying? And all these people are sitting here have had, trying to live their lives through them and wonder why everybody around here miserable. Listen to this puss ass nickel. Now, man, and I have had it up to here with this motherfucker on my screen. And in the words of the great motherfucker, all my partners and me, get this bitch off my goddamn screen. Go get some dick somewhere. And to all my fans, man, thank you for rocking with me. I'm a fan of y'all too. I'm, you know what I'm saying, and I, I and I advise y'all to start your own show. I'm off my soapbox. PA Texas, I'm out. Deuces, deuces, deuces. You see this old game, man? Don't. And for all my real dudes, don't hang out with no chicks like. No, excuse me. Don't hang out with no dudes like this. And to all my real women, don't hang out with no dudes like this. Get somebody that's gonna love you as a woman. And if he gonna cheat, he ain't gonna cheat with no man. If you do that, you're ahead of the game. Now, on top of that, make sure that you so cold that he, if he cheats, he be like, man, I don't want none of these old raggedy ass hoes. You know, be the woman that a man would say, oh, man, I don't want no more of these raggedy ass hoes. I got me a good one. And if I lose her, I got to go back to these raggedy ass hoes. Be that lady. That's when you in the game. And then make him look stupid when he leaves. Cause he leaving what he been what what every dude's looking for. And that's all subjective, so you know. Anyway, I'm out.